hello good morning so i just woke up obviously got ready for the day took twinkie out did the fur babies i'm actually gonna be spending the day with my mom my grandma and my mom's boyfriend you guys think this is cute like i just wanted my hair up i was like i need a moment with it so i put like a small braid i don't know my hair is really frizzy right now um tomorrow is my hair washing day anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i've been doing when i'm like okay i'm hungry but i don't want like a full meal but i do want i need something okay i take some oh you guys can't even see me <laughs> let's move this like so hello hello so I take some lunch meat, I take some string cheese. Oh, wait, we can't forget. My most favorite drink in the whole world. If you guys have never had this, please get it for yourself. The Gatorade Zero and Glacier Freeze. There's nothing else like it. So this is like my new favorite snack ever. Oh my God. Um, it's just like straight to the point. I ain't gotta think about it. I literally take this guy <laughs> and I wrap, you guys, I'm not joking either. I wrap some chicken lunch meat, which this is like the only chicken lunch meat I will ever eat, which is the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh with History Seasoned, because I'm really weird about lunch meat. I wrap it. Mmm. So good. I really don't know what it is, but I'm fixated on it. I'm fixated on this. Okay, so I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to take my trash out. Trash valet does come tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be home in time to actually set the trash out. So I'm just going to walk into the dumpster myself. Sometimes I do that. Okay, so I just got back from just the whole day out. Went to church and then we went to the casino. It was actually for my grandma's birthday. Oh, my grandma's birthday was like over a week ago and she wanted to go to the casino. So we went there. I won the jackpot. It was like 650 something dollars, I think. I don't remember. But I was like so shocked. I was like, okay. So that was a lot of fun. And instead of spending any of that, I just saved it. And then we went out to dinner and now I'm back home. So at church today, there was a new uh, singer there and I like fell in love with her at instant glance. I was just like, oh my God, I could not stop looking at her while she was singing. I was like, okay, perfection. So that happened. This was my third time, I think, going to church. I've been just going, you know, just for in support of my mother. Uh, my beliefs have not changed. I do not believe in God. I do like going with her. I love her. And I'm not gonna lie, even though the band is singing like about God and stuff, I think they're amazing. And I just like listening to the music. So that's always nice. Baby boy, why you licking me? Why you licking? Say I just a sweetie. Okay guys, so it is the next day um, and I'm just doing some cleaning. And this is, just looks kind of like messy to me. Like what is even happening? Like how did this guy get over here tilted? I don't know. So I'm actually going to take one of these or maybe a couple and I'm gonna organize this to look a little better. So here is the before. All right, it doesn't look that much better but it definitely helps with organization because every time I'd open this, I'd be like, yikes, some bikes. So it looks a little better. I went to laundromat, so I'm also doing that. So I wish I was joking. <laughs> I found someone's boxers and my clean clothes and someone's sock. So that happened. Someone's at home saying, where's my boxers? Where's my missing sock? Little do they know, Amberlynn Reed has it. So if you're missing those, let me know. When I tell you I'm addicted to thin pork chops in the air fryer, I'm not joking. And they're so thin and satisfying that I honestly don't even eat anything else with it. I'll just have the pork chop. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. So I'm about to make four of them. So I just lay them out like that. I use garlic salt, which all my garlic salt is pretty much gone because this is actually a very embarrassing story. But one of the last nights that I got drunk, which I have not got drunk since I said I was going to um, take a break, but I was like super drunk, super hungry. So I was like, I'm going to make some garlic butter noodles. I'm also going to use some black pepper. I guess I wasn't paying attention. And instead of opening this little tab, I screwed off the whole lid and I poured the whole thing on the pasta. So I literally had to throw away the whole thing like it was just like a waste it was really sad and pathetic but that's what happened there and then i put it in the air fryer plug her in like this is so simple it's scary so i put it on 400 and it usually takes like 14 to 15 minutes that's all i do but i will say once it's done i let it sit for like 20 minutes i know this sounds crazy then i eat it because i kind of like it at room temperature and not like freshly hot okay so the pork chops have been done and sitting and now it's perfect 
the pork chop dance. I just go through weird fixations and sometimes it's with food. You guys have seen that. Right now it's a pork chop moment. But really, I just want to come on here and tell you guys thank you so much, like truly from the bottom of my heart. Ever since I told you guys I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and I opened up to you guys in my last video where I just had like a breakdown, I started crying. You guys have reached out to me and you have been so kind and supportive and I just appreciate it so much, like beyond belief. And so many of you are like sharing your own stories with me and it's just like, we're not alone. I promise we're not alone. And I know sometimes it truly feels like it but we're not. So this isn't really something that I want to go into detail about, but a lot of people are asking, how did you hurt your ex by falling in love with someone else? Like you guys weren't together. But obviously some of this is my story to tell, but just out of respect for all parties, um, I'm going to be vague, but I do also want to just make a little bit clear that uh, I did hurt her because my ex wanted to possibly try to get back together. Uh, she wanted us to work on ourselves and possibly get back together one day. And normally that would have been something I would have jumped at like this. But when I fell in love, I continuously chose this other person over her and I was hurting her like really bad. A lot went down. A, a lot of things happened. But at the time, I thought I was choosing my happiness. And, you know, in my head, I was like, I'm single. We're broken up for a reason. I remember telling my ex, like, why don't we try Polly? That's never anything I would have ever suggested in the past. But she didn't even want to do that. And it's like, my ex loved me so much and she really wanted to try to make it work. But I was repeatedly choosing another person over her. And that is the reason why that she doesn't want to speak to me anymore. And I just feel so bad for hurting her. I was just in a really confused spot and I thought I was doing the right thing initially in the end. You guys are only hearing like 5% of the story out of 100% because again, there are other parties and just out of respect, I'm just not going to do that to them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more sleep. I went to bed super late last night. I've been going to bed like at a decent time for me, but last night I stayed up a little later than I wanted to. And yes, I did sleep in my makeup. I've been doing that my whole life. Why are we gonna complain and try to change now? That's really the least of my problems. But anyways, I do wanna end this video because I do wanna get this video up today for you guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy and I'll see you next one. Bye.